think the big question all investors are asking, do you, how long do you see this oil rally lasting? Are the fundamentals in place for oil to rise up to 100 bucks a barrel in the next year or so? Yeah, I think there's going to be support through the rest of the year, even before the OPEC cut announced uh, over the weekend. There was an expectation that oil was going to rise in the second half of the year, and the cut supports that further. And it's been our view that OPEC was going to underpin the market throughout the year, regardless of where demand would go. And we're seeing that happen in real time. All right. We are certainly seeing it in real time. Oil markets up this morning as well. So I want to ask you, is this going to spur the potential or possibility of more uh, oil production here in the United States? And what does that mean for the U.S.-based stocks? It could spur it on a marginal level, but we think one of the reasons OPEC is comfortable cutting production and having the price reaction we're seeing is because the expected response from Shell Oil is going to be much more muted than it was in the price cycle. You know, during the 2014 to 2019 per period, OPEC would have been less comfortable doing a cut like this because they would be nervous they would lose market share to Shell Oil. Uh, given the current environment we're in and the discipline we're seeing from shale oil companies, that reaction is going to be much more tepid in terms of production growth as a result of higher oil prices here in the U.S. So I want to talk about some of your picks in the energy space. They include LNG. Um, that was a very interesting choice there. Obviously, uh, Chenier, one of their big products is natural gas. Do you believe there's a rebound for natural gas coming up? Yeah, so Chenier, ticker LNG, is... Uh, mostly exposed to global gas prices, which obviously rallied materially as a result of the Russian war last year and then stabilized a bit here uh, over the winter due to warmer weather. We expect those global gas prices to remain stable over the next couple quarters, but then as we enter next winter and Europe starts to draw on their gas inventories, we do expect global gas prices to move higher especially given demand is going to increase without uh, a similar increase in, in global supply. All right. So we have a couple things coming up here in the United States. We have the so-called summer driving season, um, which is obviously a big factor. Do you see that being something that pushes up gas prices? And also, we just have the continued recovery of China. How does that impact? I, want, I know we're focusing mostly on oil, but how does that eventually impact the gas prices here in the U.S.? Something consumers really pay attention to. Sure. Gas prices are expected to increase seasonally, and oil price is obviously a big input to the final price that consumers pay at the pump. And as a result of the OPEC cut that we've seen in oil prices moving higher, gasoline prices would logically move higher as well. That's exacerbated by the fact that we're moving into peak driving demand season um, for the U.S., which will result in further upside pressure on gasoline prices. So you have a combination of crude prices moving higher and seasonal demand, which will likely result in higher prices at the pump over the next couple months.